Hello? Can you hear me like normal? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> what was happening? What? I don't know. My computer's just giving me weird messages. It's like, bah, 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 bah. Well, that's, that's you do. We know what that's from. Okay, people. This is breaking news. Today is <laughs> April 24th. <laughs> Today is April 24th. 1.05 p.m. Central. 2.05 p.m. Eastern. This happened about an hour, two hours ago. But let's take a look. Tucker Carlson is no longer at Fox News, which has been, he's been the devil over there for at least as long as Trump's presidency. So, woo! <laughs> goodbye, Satan. So that's, that's the first thing that came out. And pretty much within the next 30 minutes, it literally came out that Don Lemon and CNN also parted ways. So both were announced today. On Friday, on Tucker Carlson's episode, they said, all right, we'll see you next week. Like nothing happened. So it's like it's those scenarios where it's like being laid off where you're like, all right, see ya. See you next week. Come in next week. You're like, oh, actually, no, you're uh, not here this week. But I have theories. Don Lemon, I think he says it's completely like out of, from came out of nowhere. So let's see. I'm going to share my screen. I just want it so that our faces are next to it, but it's like big style. <laughs> big style. Our news is big style. <laughs> my dog's got a wet nose. Big style. big style. Breaking news. Tucker, Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. So that's the CNN update. So that's CNN. This is Fox. This is front page of Fox right now. Convicted Back. killer Alex Murdoch legal troubles deepen with fresh indictments. Okay. Um, nothing about Tucker until the bottom, well, about the middle, which is Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson part ways show will be hosted by rotating personalities, a little bit of the, the daily show, uh, method, but I'm sorry I even said those two shows at the same time. Um, NBC News, of, of course, is, is Tucker Carlson and Fox News part, part ways. Um, it's tied to the Dominion settlement. Does it say? It says underneath. See? Oh, there's no indication. On this, let's look at all four websites and then we'll do. Okay. So M MSNBC doesn't <laughs> look. Who came up with Who's a brilliant genius who's like, Tucker now? Oh my God, you guys, this is going to be the best. All Tucker now. Get it? I'm gonna Tucker. slap both my knees, guys. Love <laughs> <laughs> a Tucker. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tucker calls and parts ways with Fox News just stays at their Dominion settlement. I hope that guy gets a raise. <laughs> for being so funny and clever. <laughs> he's, I'm all Tucker he's like, out. He's probably had that in, in his. He's been waiting. Yeah, he's, he's like, like ten years ago. God. One of <laughs> He's been following this guy his whole career. He's like, one he's day, like, one day he's gonna be tuckered <laughs> out. This guy, he's tuckered out. See, he lived his best life today. He didn't even he, need he, coffee. Yeah, <laughs> he's so. He woke up and he was like, finally. He's like, I'm taking, I'm taking I'm, the day off. <laughs> I'm doing this mind. today. <laughs> um, Run it. <laughs> He called his whole family, told them. <laughs> Remember that joke from 10 years ago that I've been repeating every single Tucker Carlson episode? <gasps> well, look at your news page. You know that joke I don't tell every holiday? You say stupid? <laughs> it's so stupid now, so stupid is it? Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so then what's the, what's the last one? Of course they'd put that on the top. Okay, and then there's Don Lemon. So, how do we feel first about Tucker Carlson leaving? Uh, bye. 
<laughs> boy, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. I mean, I hope that he finds himself a sexy m M&M and lives happy, happily ever after. Happily, yeah. Uh, tanning bye. testicles. Like, how did that even come up? Who, you know, like, does he <laughs> edit and, like, I, if... I would think if I were any sort of involvement, producer, assistant writer, production assistant, I'd be like, are you sure you want to be, we want to be doing a segment about tanning your balls, tanning testicles, and it being like good for you? What I want to know. have the images for that. Like, I want to know what he did this time. Like, he clearly did something, right? Like, as a being a boss, being a a company, you have to do something. There's like a final straw, right? Yeah. What the fuck was the final straw after all these stupid ass things? The balls, the <laughs> saying like the M and M's aren't sexy enough. Like, why do you want to screw an M and M? Like, what's yeah. wrong with you, bro? Yeah. What was the thing? What did I miss? Because. I feel like that would be super entertaining, whatever it is. So yeah. I really want to know just because like I'm sick. I read is that he's in a contract year. So they're like in the middle of negotiating anyway. Oh, so they were just like, you know what? Yeah. You're causing <laughs> us way more harm than because I would I would think that one text between that where Tucker said he hates Trump. <laughs> and he's like, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. And on TV, he's like. I love you. Can I love you? Let me suck your dick. Like, there's no. How are they down. all like that? Yeah, I know. We saw behind his curtain and saw that the Wizard of Oz is just that little dude. That's what happened. I think. I think. If you, yeah. If you and see he's behind their curtain. Their career's over. They're all liars. Yeah. But you just they gotta watch their curtain that it stays shut. <laughs> watch your curtain, people. Damn. I can't imagine like if that if I had been making that much money and i'm sure at that phase once you're in the in the bubble of whatever fox corporation or your ego gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you get sloppy because you think like no one could touch me yeah i'm untouchable baby and i think that's where he's at probably because when you start talking about eminem's not being hot enough you're at a weird you're going in a yeah. weird place yeah your your ego's in a you know but if it was like a cartoon right of of a woman and he said that we made a cartoon woman mm-hmm. to like non-binary or something like that maybe it's still weird but right. it's a but- snack <laughs> it's like saying the california raisins weren't buff enough or something weird <laughs> like why are you talking yeah. about you sound like a crazy person yeah and kids or, or kids are. would not even care. kids don't care about that shit you think they're well, looking at that but, and he, just- but he does and that says a lot <laughs> so let's so see. are they are they connected or is that just a coincidence i think what i personally think i feel like it's it was part of the settlement even though it might say probably not because how much does he make let's look up that i mean he he, he's got to be the highest paid yeah screen share let's go back to fox i mean i think this is funny every time i see that guy's face man yeah alex alec (laughs) i forget i think it's alec oh yeah no No, it's alec do you see alec (laughs) he's in jail right i think so (laughs) he's in big trouble (laughs) he's in big he's in big trouble and and, and instead of putting um don lemon which doesn't i don't understand why look who else woke up with being able to use their stupid little (laughs) pun hey guess what this doesn't make sense (laughs) (laughs) wow they pulled out all the stuff today (laughs) um doesn't make sense (laughs) is it the same guy is it just like this guy went nuts with just dad jokes today (laughs) maybe that's his his career he just does it for everybody look maybe balancing act is she like a the what do you call it if she okay balancing it if she's a gym 
gymnast, then it's the same guy writing for every single person. Gymnast. (laughs) (laughs) Waka waka. (laughs) Stranger thing. Oh, wait. Look at Megan Trainer. <laughs> sing it, sing it though. <laughs> because I'm all about. Oh, she's that. Because I'm all about this grace, about this grace. How about the um, Dom Lemon? He has. I want YouTube to give me something good. Yeah, I'm a something good. The, the last thing I heard about him was that he like he lashed out at one of the co-anchors in the morning show mm-hmm. that he's on. And, you know, it was a younger woman, newer. And all she did was like try to jump in the conversation like she's been doing like like how conversation works on that morning show forever. But he was new to it. And so I guess when when the cameras went off, he like berated her for trying to interrupt him, which is not what she was trying to do she was just you know being a was part it of the be- conversation was it because a woman had an opinion he kind <laughs> of has a punchable face <laughs> you know who he kind of looks like remember uh breaking bad oh yeah um uh, you know uh Poyo lo- los Poyo yeah 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 him. yeah he looks yeah. like he has that look going <laughs> like where he seems like very well spoken and he sits there and acts like very polite but if you catch him on the wrong day or you do oh. the wrong thing like yeah, he'll you're... hit your head in with like a shovel That's yeah. like, <laughs> like he has like <laughs> an undercurrent of intense rage <laughs> if i can see him there. flipping out on someone yeah and and you know what he used to have a night and e- a nighttime show with uh uh or one of the evening hosts like like anderson cooper and jake tapper like the A squad that they put at the end of the day, kind of like um, uh, Sean Hannity and Tucker on Fox. Ugh. Let's just let's just do this because it'll be a breaking news. And Kaylee actually said, "What took so long?" Uh, <laughs> CNN is parting ways with star anchor Don Lemon. The network made the announcement just a moment ago, actually, and it says, "Quote: CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family, I guess, but he can't work there." <laughs> and we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well, and we'll be cheering him on in his future endeavors. Don Lemon also speaking out, writing a statement. Here's part of that. I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I was agent. So clearly they see this differently. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me. Oh, my God. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to work. I have loved at the network. Kaylee McEnany. Yeah, it's quite something. Um, You know, we just uh, I I would just say we saw him take a break briefly for some comments he made. And then here we are. Here we are. More outnumbered in a moment. What did he say about Nikki Haley? And he was forced to apologize. All right, here we go. Embattled CNN anchor Don Lemon absent for a third day on his morning show. Don will be back with us tomorrow. (laughs) He's set to return tomorrow, but only after undergoing sensitivity training today. Uh A memo was sent out at 10.34 last night telling staffers that Lemon has agreed to participate in formal training. The company has a number of resources, and Don is committed to our recommendation. He's one of the Lemon caused a firestorm when he took on presidential hopeful Nikki Haley because she questioned whether Joe Biden is too old to be president. <laughs> this whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. He apologized, but the damage was done. Well, and as Don Lemon told us on CNN, women actually can't run for president because he said we're past our prime once we get to our 40s. But since you have to be 35 to run, it's like this really tight window between 35 and 40. Well, well, well. Well, now you don't got a job. So there's that. What he was saying is that she's not in her prime as a woman, which is why it's sexist. Okay. Where like, she was saying he's not in his prime, like, as a fucking human being. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There is a total difference. Like, okay. Yeah. If you're getting up in age, if you're like, you could be in a nursing home. There's a huge difference between that and someone that's around 40. Yeah. That's... And he's saying like, you're not in your, pro- you're no spring chicken. He's like. Like basically physically and as a woman and childbearing years and like how men usually yeah yeah, how men normally look at women when they're in their prime is when they're like between 20 and 35 and then they're throwing the garbage (laughs) just fucking garbage people toss them toss them in a fucking dumpster (laughs) although although i will say that i was Okay, so there's like a crazy thing at the end of my street today or last night where I think there was a person passed away in the road and there were a million Whoa. first responders. So I'm really nosy and I'm just, I'm looking it up and I'm like typing in all these keywords, trying to find out what happened. And I didn't, I'm like, there's town reports, nothing, everything's a secret. But in in doing that, I'm seeing all these other options. And one was that from like years ago that a woman what passed away in like a car crash and her unborn child but she was 65 and i thought holy cow a 65 year old was pregnant in a car i i can't even imagine being pregnant now like oh my ugh. god 65 that's 65. retirement age ish for most like i was like is that possible maybe okay well what was that? What would that be like? It was hard when I was in my twenties. I was like, "This yeah. is hell." But- like it's terrible if that happened. It's just the fact of her age and that she was pregnant yeah. that I was like, "That I is was, that's the, the lady with all the equations." Well, I was just like, "Her life, her first thoughts for sure." Also, be getting be getting it on with, hopefully with her husband. Good for her. I yeah. you should have sex until you drop dead. But I I carry a baby's hard. It's hard work. Uh, Anyway. (laughs) I think Tucker's done more damage, though. It's just. It's all financial. It's all to save face across the board. So it's not surprising. I think I I feel like it was part of the settlement agreement. Or even if it wasn't, they're like, well, we can say it is because Tucker was on his way out or he. They're renegotiating, renegotiating his contract anyway. So now they don't have to set aside 30 whatever million dollars to pay yeah. him. If you were Fox, though, and you were looking, OK, we're going to read, you know, renegotiate his contract. And you looked at in the, even just in the past year, mm-hmm. how much shit they've <laughs> had to deal with that he said that they've had to like get their PR people out like how do we spin this so it's okay again and like <laughs> make it all right because that was real weird that he said that like, yeah <laughs> I think one time's like mm, two times to- like it's been several times it's like, yeah. the one's been like he's been in the news like, like once a week he says something yeah. crazy <laughs> right <laughs> like, so I think at yeah. a certain point it's like okay so like check it out you're a liability and um we're just gonna just move on we're all just gonna move on bye <laughs> yeah and then it gives it gives fox new they're gonna you know people love tucker so i'm sure he's going to go on he already has a podcast he's gonna you know be he, fine. he's gonna be fine he'll go say his dumb shit somewhere else yeah. and- i can't imagine tucker's pr team are probably like an ivy league superpower <laughs> super group of avengers of of the field they're just like waiting okay he said green i'm gonna shit and then they work around a table for like 12 hours and then the next day he comes up with something else that's dumb like god damn it okay who's taking this think, case do you think that they rotate out a lot because they develop drinking problems or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're like fuck like, i'm never gonna get a job Hank- again Hank, he was a he was a soldier, but then he started. He got a problem with blow, and he was gone. But <laughs> he had to stay up for four days straight trying to figure he, out this fucking. He was on M&M that M M&M M job, and he just <laughs> he solved the problem. But then he had to go to rehab. So 
the Don Lemon thing, if that's true, that I went through his agent. <clears throat> actually, oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that it did because they put their little statement out and they made it sound like nicey nice. Like he's still part of the family. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> even though he can't work here, what? <laughs> even though we didn't even tell him, we didn't even <laughs> call him in and tell him yeah. like a decent human being would. <laughs> <clears throat> we sent him a text <laughs> like <laughs> what like impersonal like hey don't come in anymore oh we'll God. mail you your crap <laughs> i want to see how i want to hear that he's not gonna <laughs> talk anymore <laughs> i know that that's, that's not gonna be the case but that would be a glorious day it just, oh, it's gonna it, be on see on uh, whenever snl comes back on who oh boy, they are gonna have a, they have so much content right now to do to maybe they should like box each other. Oh, oh you my know, God. yes, here, here. What? <laughs> or like be on Big Brother. That's an awesome. <laughs> I don't feel like a reality TV show what together. Was that da- what was that? Um, cele- <clears throat> celebrity uh on MTV, it was awesome. It was like claymation. Do you remember? oh yeah the like where they had to oh my gosh yeah where it was like didn't they box or something yeah they like fought each other yeah right now Tell me, the girl. media landscape is significantly different than it was just two hours ago with two of the highest profile cable hosts out of a job first the news that tucker carlson who was regularly drawing three million viewers a night parted ways with fox news and then just Basically. an hour later don lemon tweeting he is out at cnn after 17 years with that network i want to see if i could um watch their facial expressions again i don't know they might have been frozen with like um, shock that he would see <laughs> like what because mm. they're like you know when they have to like you, sometimes they're all, everybody's nodding along and then suddenly they stop nodding. <laughs> they just like, like oops, please. Yeah. Battled so, CNN look, anchor look Don his, Lemon absent for a third day on his morning show. <laughs> look at his posture, <laughs> too. He's set to return tomorrow, but only after undergoing sensitivity training today. A memo was sent out at 1034 last night telling staffers that Lemon has agreed to participate Wait. in formal training. The company has a number of resources, and Don is committed to our recommendation. Lemon caused a firestorm when he took on presidential hopeful Nikki Haley because she questioned whether Joe Biden is too old to be president. And he's a thousand. Talking about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. He apologized, but the damage was done. But did you see his posture got real weird? Hands on hips, like, what are who? He's like Yule Brenner from The King and I or some shit. Like, he got real comfortable about age. Yeah, no shit. Don't talk about it. You don't know how to talk about it. But like, he just like did this real masculine, like, it, yeah. That was like the Power. equivalent of like whipping his dick out, basically. Like, <laughs> okay, yeah, she's past her prime. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> like, I don't know how sometimes they stay keep their composure. Bitch, and I feel like sometimes they, yeah. I mean, there's appropriate times that I, <laughs> I would, I don't know. I think they should handle those things as they come, not not like. Okay, well now you gotta do a sensitivity training and now you gotta do this and now you got it's like you're not gonna learn anything. He's doing that because he has to do it, you know, in order to move on, in order to keep his job. There's yeah, no way that he's he could learning. But people could um like take a take a you know, a moment, take a beat, go, oh, that was real dumb, and like reassess the situation. Like you can if you're people not, can yeah, learn. not a narcissist, yeah. But you know, then there's that situation where he probably he had probably yeah. he probably has a long history of doing that crap, and this is just one where it was like extremely <laughs> public, and there was no hiding it, and they were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> and those you know co-hosts were probably like, bro, no, that's not cool. Like they're probably like, 
we don't we don't we can't do that here w welcome but not here you can't not say that here there's women at this table like you're shitting on us like <laughs> like to our on our faces yeah right now we're like wiping the shit off and while you're sitting there do. with your weird pose this was quite an hour good riddance bye assholes <laughs> <laughs> so to that i say to tucker carlson and uh don lemon good riddance have a nice day <laughs> see <Bye>. you suckers <laughs>